What's up folks, welcome back to the garage. In this video, my goal is to continue the assembly of this B20 engine. Uh, at least I will put the new camshaft in. Now I have my engine studio ready. <laughs> I have my tools. The tool cart is here, here ready, and the block is here, and uh, the parts are here on the table. I also found uh, some instructions from uh, from internet. I just googled engine assembling Volvo B20, so this will help me a lot. Uh, the razors are here in, in oil bath. Uh, I have al already put some uh, assembly lube on the, on, the, on the cam. This I have to put later because the cylinder head is uh, in the machine shop at the moment. And I hope I will get it uh, next week. So I hope the next video will be about um assembling the cylinder head maybe but i can't promise it for sure uh, i already cleaned uh, the oil pump and my my plan is now first to put the cam in uh, and then i will assemble the oil pump and maybe the oil pan and uh, then the, the razors i have a uh, I have also already cleaned the block and after that I will put the crankshaft gear and uh, the cam camshaft gear. I'm using the original ones. I know that I should use aluminium or even steel, but at this point I will use the original parts and uh, maybe in the next tuning phase I will use the steel gears but at, at this point I will use these originals next I will put my camera on stand and I'll be back after I have uh, finished installing the camshaft Now the camshaft is back on its place. I had to take the spacer, it's uh, there from the old old cam and this part, I don't know the name for this part. And um, I did it like in the instructions that uh, I insert the cam and uh, install spacer and the thrust flang, flang. Uh, reusing the old flang is usually okay simply to flipping it over as it only wears down on the inside assuming of course that this hasn't already been done in the past and uh, i was the first person to <laughs> rotate this flang so it should be okay now um, I already uh, put this uh, shaft this uh, for the distributor and this end is for the oil pump. I already put it on its place, but then I realized that if I flip the engine upside down, it will fall off. So that's why I took it off. Next, I will flip the engine upside down and uh, I will first I will assemble the the oil pump, change the, the gasket and uh, then I will install the pump and maybe the 
oil pan to get more space on the, on the table. And after that, I will tell you more. Yes, now I have the oil pan and the oil pump. Uh, I tightened this just barely because I have to lose it, uh, loosen it again because uh, I'm missing the, the front and back end. Um, and uh, the lifters <coughs> are already there. And the, the is this shaft that rotates the oil pump and the distributor, distributor? <laughs> that's a difficult word in English. In Finnish it's virran uh, jakaja. It's much easier in Finnish. <laughs> but now when I'm rotating the, the cam, you can see the lifters are moving and uh, the axle is also spinning, so everything should be okay. And I used quite a lot this assemble loop to make sure that so we don't have any uh, nasty surprises. <laughs> uh, next, uh, I have uh, the gears ready, and uh, first I will put the uh, crankshaft. First, I mount the crank gear, heat it up a little bit to make it easier to slide it on the crank. Uh, I have my heat gun ready, so I will heat this up and make sure that the mark is uh, facing outside. And I use a little bit uh, white paint to mark the mark on the, the fiber gear. And uh, I must not forget this. I use the compressed air to make sure the, the hole is open, so this should be should work okay, but I will save it later. I will put uh, the gears uh, gears first, and um, it says here that um, after the crank uh, gear, it's time for the cam gear. Also, this gear could be uh, could use some heat, but not like the crank gear, especially if you use the fiber gear, like I am using. And uh, it's uh, eas easiest is to use a hot air gun. Ta-da! And I just have to make sure that the gears are lined up. Well, next I will start heating the gear 
and uh, I hope I can fit it easily, <laughs> I hope, and after that the cam gear. <laughs> well, that was a little too easy because I didn't have to use my heat gun. But now you can see that the gears are lined up. Uh, I <laughs> had a small problem with the torque because my torque uh, range is uh, uh, slightly too small for the 36 millimeter socket. So I just have to use my my hand to measure the right torque <laughs> but i think uh, it's tight enough i think it's a little bit too tight even but it should hold now and uh, this is already here also this uh, uh, another in injector inject injector uh, but this part makes uh, sure that uh, there's enough oil on the gears so it's important to put there I put some Loctite there to make sure but I didn't know that I don't know that if that's wise but I <laughs> did, did that already uh, timing gear should be now ready uh, next I will put the breather I have the new gaskets here already it goes there and uh, then the timing gear cover I just have to change the the gasket and I know that uh, it would be wise to change this gasket to a better one. I have the link and I have the uh, instructions how to do it but I haven't done it. <laughs> I will do that on the second version of my B20 engine that will be come out in the future. Uh, and I have the new gasket for the for the cover. So first the breather and then the cover and maybe after that the water pump.
yes, I'm running out of time today. And I think I will finish this video about here. Now I managed the timing gears, should be okay. And the pulley should be also okay. I just I had just had to uh, tighten this in the right torque. Uh, breather is in on its side or, or place. Uh, water pump. My plan was to put also the water pump on, but like I said, I'm running out of time. But it's ready here for the next video. <laughs> and I hope that when this video uh, come out, I already have the the cylinder head. So my plan is to start this engine as soon as possible. And I have a plan that I will put this engine to my 145 because it's missing only the windshield and the back door. And after that, it should be quite ready for the MOT. Okay, there's a lot of small things, but not, not big issues. So I hope I, I would get the, that car on the road this summer. That's my, my goal. And uh, then the engine here, it will be my next engine project. And I will take this, uh, I will take uh, carburetors, exhaust, uh, distributor, uh, fuel pump, uh, starter at least from this engine and uh, use it with this. And it would also be nice to uh, spend a day in a dyno with this engine. <laughs> Uh, because I really want to know how much uh, horsepower I can get out of this this engine with my own porting. Um, I hope I would get a little bit more than a stock engine. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do it right away. And also remember to press the bell. Thanks for watching and see you soon.